You are now watching a WNCT Now digital news update. Our top stories we are following. Across North Carolina, a look at the state of the spread of coronavirus. Tuesday night is debate night in the U.S. Senate race. We have the results of a new poll showing where that contest stands. And locally, a nutrition bar in Jacksonville has a drink that will benefit more than just your thirst. Good afternoon. My name is Kayla Schmidt. Nine on Your Side has an update of the coronavirus numbers throughout North Carolina. Let's take a look. The state is up to more than 194,000 positive cases, an increase of 800 from yesterday. Four COVID patients died since yesterday. So far, the state has done 2.8 million COVID tests. Well, we are one day away from the U.S. Senate debate between Republican incumbent Tom Tillis and Democratic challenger Cal Cunningham. A new poll from CBS 17 and Emerson College asked if the election was held today, which candidate would you get your vote? Results show almost 49% of voters support Democrat Cal Cunningham. He has about an almost 7 percentage point lead over Republican Tom Tillis. About 8% of those surveyed say they are still undecided. Locally, a nutrition bar in Jacksonville is giving back back to a very special part of the community. Blend Nutrition Bar has created a drink that benefits the Onslow Women's Center. It's called the Safe Haven. Partial proceeds of all the drink orders will go back to the Onslow Women's Shelter. This comes right before October, marking Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We're going to take a quick break and be back with some more news before the newscast. The latest information on the coronavirus, along with your local news and first alert weather, get the free WNCT mobile app at the Google Play and App Stores today. The WNCT mobile app is on your side, wherever you are, whenever you need it. Your side, reporters are all across the East and in your neighborhood. In Tarboro. In Kinston. In Greenville. At Atlantic Beach. Covering local stories that impact you. The groundbreaking ceremony is the beginning of construction for Moorhead City's fourth City Hall. People from all over the state of North Carolina gathered at the Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church. The historic Turnage Theater in Washington helps the community celebrate art and culture. See their original reporting weekdays on 9 in Your Side News. Welcome back to your WNCT Now update with some more news before the newscast. Onslow County currently has made a decision on whether K through fifth grade students in their district should go back to school under option A. That option calls for a full in-person learning style. We have a reporter monitoring that meeting. A decision has been made that has just been brought to my attention that students will return gradually. There will be a full development on this decision at five on WNCT with reporter Camila Barco. We also have some exciting no news here at nine on your side. We are starting some podcast series. First, we have What the Politics with Victoria and Emily, a podcast kind of just discussing politics going on around North Carolina, as well as a sports talk podcast with our sports team. So those are two podcasts you can look out for in the near future. But that is all for your 4 p.m. update. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kayla Schmidt.